you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, it's Monday. We'll choose to get the flashbacks. Now, I haven't made this video in like a week or two because I was kind of busy with other stuff. Had kind of pre-recorded videos going on. Also... Had some morning stuff to get rid of for the like, literally last week when heavyweights flashbacks and veterans came out all three of those mornings had something to do so I couldn't make that video so it's my first time making this video in like probably two weeks but I did come back because one of my one of my favorite players in the league at least he was until he left my team is in this flashback drop so I'm pretty excited about that pretty good flashback drops now based on the overalls that I've been seeing I think they'll be an 89 overall which means he might actually have a potential spot on my team which I never thought I'd say about a flashback now let me not get too excited because we all know. Every time I get excited about flashbacks, their stats end up being ass. Shady McCoy got me excited. He had an 85 speed. I have to remember that flashbacks will be underrated with bad stats. Now, I'm hoping this guy's pretty good. Because last year, he had a flashback card, and it was awesome. And most people in the community actually used him, and people loved him. So I'm hoping that his flashbacks equally as good this year. Although flashbacks have been a bit underwhelming, guys. But before we get into this video, make sure to go down below, boys. We're so close to 9K. You guys have been smashing the sub button. All you new supporters, thank you so much for coming here and loyal old ones. Thank you for all that. We're almost at 9K. You guys have been killing it this week. So if you're new to the channel and you're watching this video for the first time, you won't regret it. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Help me on my journey to 10K. And let's hit our first big YouTube milestone. Comment down below, boys, what you think of these flashbacks. I personally love the first one. I have not heard word of the second one, so I don't really know who it is yet. So we're going to all find that out together. And also, make sure to drop a like in this video. Let's get this video to 150 likes. I know it's a content video, but I know all my loyal supporters. We'll drop a like in the video and all you new ones too, guys. Now, let's go over to the team. Or should I say the store? I don't know why I said the team. I was on the store. I, really, I thought I was on play. But anyways, let's head over to the store and see what the prices are looking like for the flashback packs. Because, as you guys know, they did raise the price on these. These originally went for about 1870 Now they go for about 2470 So... They did increase it though, so there's no more 86 flashbacks you can pull. At worst, you can pull an 87. Now, an 87 quick sells for about a thousand, like eight, what the price was before, like a thousand eight hundred seventy ish. So you guys have to understand that if you do get an 87 out of this pack, you do inevitably lose about 600 training. And before, so pretty much, EA is working really hard this year to make sure we never get a reroll set. If you guys didn't know about Madden last year, you guys played last year, and you guys knew about reroll sets, pretty much. EA would drop sets like this where the training value was so underwhelming that you actually could make tons of profit off packs. Like, there'd be like five things you could pull and only one of them were bad. And you just kept doing it over and over again and just building your training stack and glitching the game almost. But this year, EA is trying very hard. So once they dropped 89 overalls into packs and they increased the 87s up, they raised the price again. So you can, again, it's like a 50-50 again. It's 87, 88s, 89s. 89s a profit, 88s break even, 87s lose. They're keeping it like 30, 30, 30. So more than likely, it's going to be hard to gain money because it's going to be a lower percentage of an 89, a pretty high percentage of an 87, and a medium percentage of 80. And in the first two options, you never make coins. So they're really preventing the reroll set this year. What would have been even better is if they kept the price the same, but kept 86s in there. Then it would have made it a little bit better because you could pull a lot of other things beyond, even if you got the 86s. But again, EA is not about losing money because if they let us reroll these, we, they would inevitably lose money because people can get tons of training coins, go sell those coins, and so on and so forth. Now, guys, for the first flashback that I'm telling you guys is Landon Collins. Strong safety for the Washington Redskins. That hurts to say. I'm a New York Giants fan, so for me, for multiple years that he was on the Giants, what was he on there? For like two, three years, maybe even four. He was one of the best safeties in the league when he first got to the Giants. He did slow down towards the end a little bit, but that's probably attributed to just the lack of Giants team morale as a whole and not having anything to play for. But we did get rid of him in the offseason. He he's on the Redskins now, but his flashback's on the Giants, which is kind of what makes me excited about this card. Last year, he had good speed, good hit power, pretty good zone. If he has all three of those, he'll probably be like baby Ken Houston. But with Pat Tillman in the game, it makes it very hard to want to have him. So yes, yeah, that's going to have to be pretty good for me to not want to use Pat Tillman or Ken Houston right now. So let's head over to the market, let's head over to flashbacks and see if any of them are up yet. You guys both know that these are never up right away. We already know that. 88 to 89s. These typically take a little bit. Flashbacks aren't horrible. It's more so like signature series take a while. Let's go to newest. So we obviously last week we got Marcus Peters. And these guys were 89s. So I'm hope I would love for them to be 90s, but we all know they won't be. Because I think EA has like the system where they pretty much do. They did like 86, 86, 86. No, they do like 86, 86, 87, 87, 88, 88, 89, 89, 89. They've been dropping them like in sets of twos to threes. 
So I know for a fact that if the last week was the first 89s, you should have another set of 89s. They'll probably up within a few minutes or so. I don't know who the second guy was. I never really got to see that. I'm about to go check in a second on Twitter to go make sure that, see if they release a second guy, because obviously he's not going to be on here for probably a little bit. All right. Let's refresh and one second. And guys, of course, he's finally up after waiting a ton of time here. Landon Collins, 89 overall strong safety. I like the card art a lot. I do miss seeing him in a Giants uni. 2017 week 11. I don't know what he did then. Let's see. if Does it say in his description what he did? I really wish they still did that. Sounds like the flashback cards would tell you what they did that week. It would be pretty interesting. College Alabama. Bama. Pack opening. Some guy obviously just pulled him. It was funny because last time about a guy pulled him and I showed you guys in the video. It ended up being Xerxes and he told me that afterwards. Probably his again. Probably opening a ton of packs right now. So let's go check out his stats. 85 speed. 87 acceleration. 90 play rec. 88 pursuit. 82 tackle. 72 man. 79 zone and 95 hit power. I don't know how to feel about this card. He almost looks like a baby Pat Tillman. I wish the zone was higher, but you can use this guy as a linebacker. Landon Collins might be one of the best inbox linebackers that you can with safety. If you do like a the 335 or a big nickel over G or whatever it's called, you could put him in the box and he'd be an insane linebacker. I think a pair can use him real quick. He actually, besides coverage and speed, blows away Ken Houston. This card's pretty good. It's probably going to be very expensive, though. And you compare him to Pat Tillman. Like I said, he's baby Pat Tillman. Both bad zone. Both bad man. But then he has the better of the speed, the excel, and the hit power. Obviously, Tillman gets to 95, so you can't really compare those two at all. But, but, at the time being, this card looks like a beast. Will I be using it? I don't know. Like, I'd love to use him, but I'd have to put him in the box. I'd have to get rid of a linebacker. A lot of things I'd have to do to make him more useful. It'd probably be more of a headache for me. Let's go see what his underlying stats are. I'm kind of scared. His catching to 68. Okay. His tackling, 82. We knew that. Jumping, 82. That's not horrible. I mean, at linebacker, I guess it's not horrible. Let's juke move, impact block. Pursuit's an 88. Like I said, that's a, that's a really good one. Pursuit's huge. Play rec, 90. We know that already. 86 stamina. Hit power 95. And I think that should be all the stats. Yeah. So this card as a whole, I actually really do like this card. It's just a matter of can he be usable without creating too much of a headache on my team? Because I'd have to really move him around. Now the next guy we have is Allen Robinson. It actually just clicked to me that we was Allen Robinson right as he came out. So 89 Allen Robinson, that card art's kind of weird. He's like looking up to the sky or something. I don't really know what he's doing there. He's got an archetype that looks like a sprinting guy. Don't know the archetypes too well. It is from 2015 week two. So if I don't, if I remember correctly, I think that's the week when he like first broke out when he was just starting and he had like two or three touchdowns. If I remember correctly, he was, that's when he started the season off really, really hot. So, so far these the stats actually don't look too bad. 86 speed, 88 jumping. For an 89 overall card, the 86 speed is not horrendous. Wish it was a little bit, wish it was like an 87, but Allen Robinson isn't known to be a burner. 86 speed, 88 jumping, 86 catching. 87 catch and traffic, 92 spec catch. Wish the catch and traffic was like an 89, but I'll take it. 92 spec catch, 86 short route running, 83 medium route running, and deep route running, 80. Now, will I use this card? Probably not because the speed's a little low, which I could overlook with catching, but his catching isn't exactly at threshold, and then his route running is all below 85 besides the short route running. If those things were slightly bumped up, this card could have been pretty awesome. Again, let's see. Let's go to his actual stats and compare them to... Let's see. Okay, I think DeAndre Hopkins is a fair comparison, right? So, he's got... Better speed than Hopkins, worse jumping, worse catching, worse catch in traffic, wor uh, better spec catch, better short eye running, and then worse medium deep. So he's very similar to DeAndre Hopkins. In my opinion, I think he's actually better than DeAndre Hopkins because he's faster, has a few more intangibles, and he's 6'3". Let's compare the route running, I'm not the route running, the after the catch ability. His acceleration's a lot higher, actually. So he's definitely way better than DeAndre Hopkins because DeAndre Hopkins feels slow as hell. Carrying 79, which I kind of care about because fumbles this year are huge. He's got, let's see, let's see, ball carrier vision 79. No after the catch moves at all. Nothing that you can even, not even worth talking about. So the card is a little underwhelming in, in that stance, but he's better than Hopkins, which isn't saying too much because this Hopkins was never that amazing anyways, in my opinion. But there's a new one. So Allen Robinson's cool. Landon Collins are cool. If I had to recommend any, I'd recommend that Landon Collins. Let's see what his price is. I doubt that price will even be good for quite a while considering his hit power is pretty high. And guys, that is about it for the video. If you did enjoy and you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, boys. It goes a long way in helping to get to the milestone of 10K, boys. We're getting pretty close. So make sure to hit the sub button. Turn on that noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Just like this one, guys. And if you haven't already, make sure to comment down below. 
what you guys think of these me personally i'm a big fan of landon collins because i'm a giants fan Allen robinson i think he's usable if you have him would i go out of my way power him up so on and so forth probably not but i mean actually you could get him to a 90 and you'd be even better but i think landon collins is awesome you probably have to run a big nickel over g or some kind of 335 where the strong safety plays within the box because then he'd be one of the best linebackers in the game but at safety, I don't know if I could recommend that, but the way passing can be this year, a lot of I get a lot of blown coverages as it is, and a lot of deep balls and a lot of posts. I think and out routes, I don't really think you want a strong safety with no zone. Because he's gonna be a he's gonna be a liability in coverage. He's just gonna be very good at laying the boom, stopping the run, and tackling players, which is perfect for a linebacker, not so good for a safety. That does kind of limit his potential, guys. That is about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Let's get this video to 150 likes. Guys, I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.